Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Cardboard Crawlers RC channel. I'm out behind the Donner Summit Lodge. I uh, took all of the indoor rocks and put them outside. Uh, all the ones that we had on the, the long kitchen table all winter long have moved outside and then they're just filling in next to some of these granite boulders and creating, um, you know, crawling areas created a little trail. It's a fun little kind of a looping, almost a figure eight. It's not quite done yet, but I haven't had the gladiator out for a while, so I thought I'd go give her a spin and see how she's doing. That little Grizzly Works recovery rig is always doing good. Uh, all those tires and, you know, just the way that that, that rig runs. It, it, it has 48 millimeter Injura uh, double barrel shocks on it and um, <clears throat> for that wheelbase and for what I was trying to do with that truck the way I had it banded it seems to work really well um, I was thinking about putting uh, like a set of 39 millimeter Injura oil shocks on it but I just like the way the Gladiator works it seems to have a really good flex pattern to it I also, you know, I, I've just been wanting to try a couple different things. I might put those shocks on the, the little white JLU. Um, I have a set sitting around and they just need to be built up and put on something, I suppose. Either that or I'm just going to mail them home to myself so I don't have to travel with all my extra small little parts. I'm just kind of packing up, getting ready to go, put a new wheel bearing in the car. Um, Thursday or Friday? Thursday, yeah, because they don't work Friday, that's right. So um, Thursday, I put a new one in, went for a test drive, realized the other one's probably going out too. So I have the parts. I went and got them yesterday, and I'll put them in tomorrow. I'm going to talk to the boss about using some outdoor shop space and some tools and just kind of do it the same way I did it on Thursday and just go and get it done. It only took me a couple hours having the air hammer. One of the guys, you know, they all have them, but I used someone's air hammer and that really helped to knock the the old bearing and uh, it's actually the full, it, it's like a, uh, it's not a knuckle, I'm sorry. It's a hub assembly, so you can, you knock the hub out, the hub assembly with the air hammer otherwise it just takes too much brute force you know too much banging on it with a three pounder i mean it literally knocked it loose and then i was able to get some pry bars in there and just work it out but yeah beautiful day dogs out with us hanging out i don't know what the lighting did just right there but it was strange uh, i think just the camera adjusting but yeah, this is a fun little trail. These boulders, you know, they're all they're out here. I've just kind of cleaned up the area a little bit, not a bunch, just you know, kind of rake the big pine cones and sticks that are between the rock piles out of the way. Like right here, you'll see you come down to the dirt basically. This is a good climb up to the up to the rear right rear tire there. If you went, if, if you was able to come an uphill and you turn left, um, that's another good good climb I try not to build you know just a one direct one direction course you want to be able to, to, to drive it in multiple directions so we could go to the right and it ends up at another little spot but I decided to circle around to the left because it's kind of we end over by this log on this rock um, up in the right corner there so yeah go ahead. You know, like I said, you get out onto the dirt here and, and you know, just kind of clean it up a little bit. Not every little bit, but just to get some of the majors out of there so that it's not constantly getting tangled up in these tiny little tires and axles and up in the drive lines and whatnot. Uh, I think this was uh, the first part of this course that I built. This rock is just naturally separated right here. And it's kind of an ant pile right there, but... I, there was just some rocks laying there and I threw them up into the crack and then drove my car, made a short, I don't know, that was a couple of weeks ago. 
and just, you know, here and there, I've just been working on it. I'm not super highly motivated where, like, this is getting done for a course for, for any particular person or any particular event. This is just something I do, you know, for something to do if I am quote-unquote bored because, you know, we shouldn't be bored. Only boring people are bored. Plenty to do out there. Beautiful little cabins. There's a little creek down there. I think I'm showing you guys pictures of the creek. It's a little overgrown on the edges right now, and it's flowing super fast, so it's really not a spot you want to go sit sit down by, but, you know, another couple weeks, and it will probably flown just right and the snow is really melting fast now and things are disappearing so yeah but loving it you know just out wheeling just uh getting after it trying to trying to do what we can here this is a this is a lot a lot of this is so much steeper than it looks you, you really get it's really hard perspective like this rock's just a little bit slick my tires are just spinning on it these tires are getting a little down there on the tread wear that's for sure there we go. gonna hook it there it is so that overdrive in that truck really helps that kind of situation um, something that I put on it when I first built it and uh, it, I really love the overdrives you can really see the difference see how they work see how it just pulls the rig right up the obstacle you're trying to go up and once again these both these rigs are on just brushed motors this is running that big old 50 samix can it's a really powerful little <laughs> motor um, as samix put their name on it i'm not exactly sure what the specs are on that particular motor but it, it's pretty peppy like I have two of them I have one in my C10 as well and I put an aftermarket like uh, ESC just a little cheap $16 ESC in it and it's still on a oh no it's a ES $16 ESC and then that runs off my GT5 now but it's still just a brush motor and it is a screamer it's a little race truck I mean, I could just probably as fast as a Max Smasher. And it's only a one speed, you know? So, anyway, a couple little shortcuts, short edits right here, you know? You're just uh, trying to get the best angles. And, you know, as we all know, I'm just running a stationary camera. I'm not doing any panning or, you know, active. I, I don't have, a, I do have a gimbal. I have a. An Osmo 2 gimbal. I just don't use it very much. The, I don't like the, the hassle of going from three different apps to try to get my picture into the editing process. It just takes a long time. I, it probably wouldn't be such a big deal if there was, if I had much better internet where I'm at. But I don't up here in the mountains, so I just try not to think about it and, and tr just try not to. You know, it's just not the way I film right now, so maybe another time. Um, maybe when I get home, if I'm able to, you know, try to figure some more of that out. I think I need, well, I don't need anything, but I would like to have a smaller gimbal, something really tiny. Maybe even just, I don't, maybe not a gimbal, but you know, with a lot of the newer cameras, I, I mean, I have a GoPro, I think I have a Hero 7 or something. And um, the stabilization on those, I think if I just had a small uh, monopod or a little, you know, something I could pick up and move really easily or attach it to my remote. That might work out and give me some more dynamic shots. So this rock is kind of interesting. Um, originally, I was just going to come up and go over that little valley that's right in front of us. That would have been our entrance down into the next rock section. But it's super technical to come up, go over to the other end, come back down through here. You know, like this is a, 
I mean, as you saw, I almost looped out. I really almost looped out in the Jeep a second ago on the uh, over where the Gladiator's sitting, coming down that face. I can't believe I made that. I had to sit there and think about it for a minute and literally, like, which way do I need to pull the trigger and turn the wheel and can I do it soft enough? <clears throat> so then, you know, like you, like I said, there's multiple entrances and, you know, try to make the course dynamic as you can. Uh, this is, it's really steep. Like the, this truck, you know, these trucks will slide down if I was just over a little bit more, it would have slid all the way down in there. Uh, yeah. So this, you can come down and out to the right or you can come up this, you can come up towards the Jeep there, or the the JLU there. And, uh, yeah, like I said, none of this is really done. It's I guess it never is done, right? You're always constantly working on your course and trying to make it a little bit better, adding stuff to it. Like this is a sweet little section right here coming through. You know, you can see the steepness there. And then the JLU, she just has some trouble here. I just missed the line. I could get all rocked out right there. Should have gone to the left. Instead, I end up over here to the right. Big hole. Big, big hole. And then I'm just like dragging dip, dragging center. And you know, you know, I think a lot of people have a misconception about what uh, rails and rock sliders are really meant for. Like when you're in a one-to-one, -one, your truck slams down on those things, and you oftentimes specifically put your rock slider up against a tree or a rock or somebody's bumper or tire or whatever to help spin you around. You know, it helps create an apex in your turn for you. Um, so I think. You know, sometimes we forget that that's what they're there for. You want to bang it down on that skid and the sliders and then just get some grip with the tires if you can and make it happen, you know. Like, it's, it's, it's a rock crawler, man. It's made to bash a little bit. You gotta slam around a little bit. And I need to get some, I need to order up some more Maz diff covers. That one needs one for sure since that's... My OG Maz rear vehicle. That's the first Maz chassis I built. Uh, ended up putting it on a JLU because I just couldn't wait. I had it originally bought it to put on my C10, and I still haven't put a Maz chassis on my C10. This runs where it is for now. Because it's kind of like like this isn't my first build. This this Jeep isn't my first build, but it's my first. Oh yeah, get it all turned around. This, these, those darker colored rocks, obviously they're just covered in that fine, fine, silty kind of dirt, you know, so it makes it a little bit tough, but we got through there. We get through there. Eventually, there it is. That's the line. And Jeep coming down and around. You may see some cars flashing off there in the background, and that's just a... Uh, it's old Highway 80. So the Springs exit right here. Donner Summit Lodge. Uh, I wish I could just stay here indefinitely, but I need to go home. I have things to do, I suppose. I really don't. Everyone I talk to is like, yeah, everything's fine. You don't have, you know, whenever. It's no big deal, but I got to go take care of some responsibilities. I don't have a lot of responsibilities in my life, and I've kind of just set my life up to be like that uh, because I see the struggle that everyone goes through to just try to take care of themselves and someone else and someone else's kids and someone else's dog and cat and car and all of that. And I can barely take care of myself, so this is what I do. I just take care of myself good. And um, try to do what I like to do. Not really let, you know, I mean, I get down. We're, we're, we, all, we all have our moments, people. I think that's what we fail to remember is that 
We're all going through it all the time. We're all just going through it. No one's got it figured out quite yet. No one has all the answers. A lot of times you think just because someone's driving a brand new Tesla and wearing that nice suit or those clothes that you think you want and have that brand new mobile device or whatever, you think that they have it all figured out and you think that they, they're, they're completely healthy mentally and physically. And Honestly, that just isn't the case, man. We're all, we're all going through it. There's rocks getting banged down the stream. So, almost to the end of this video, this is that little rock I was pointing out before, saying that we would end over here by the log. I think my camera's sitting on the log. And I think you've all seen this rock in a short. <clears throat> uh, I had the blue and white Maz buggy on this thing sliding sideways across this rock. It was a fun little short. That little rock that the glad he's about to get up on right there it is a strange one i think it came out of a blast like they blasted a bunch you know they're always blasting granite around here making roads and improving stuff and i think it was just a piece that came out of the blast it's like center cut out of a rock and it's all it might be one that ends up going home with me got some really cool shape but yeah, even the Gladi, you know, I thought the long wheelbase would just reach right up here and grab some traction off the front wheels, but <clears throat> this has those uh, hot team brass portals in it, and uh, they're just a little heavy, and, and it just makes it a little bit tough on, on these, these types of climbs where you really, you got a big bump up, near vertical, big bump up on the rears. And we're just, it's just going to slide us left. It's going to keep sliding us over there to the driver's side. and Just trying to get one rear wheel up over that second crash. You know, just doesn't want to get it. Just doesn't want to do it. And jumps me over there, and then here we are. Climb right out. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe, that like, the bell notification. Once again, as always, appreciate y'all. Have a great day. Cardboard crawlers out.